Hi, this is Tim. Today's question comes from Hank, who's having problems with this Micro 820 PLC, seemingly having random IP addresses. So in this video, we're gonna talk about how this happens and how we can fix it. In this video, we'll be using one of our PLC trainers. This one has the Micro 820 and the HMI option. And we're gonna start by plugging in the PLC tool SIM IPE just so we can show how this Micro 820 is currently configured. So I am going to go to read unknown IP. And we can see that its IP address is 192.168.114. Now we're going to create a new program. And we're going to just like we normally would, we'll give it a name. And then we'll go to our controllers. We're going to find our Micro 820. We're using a QBB, select, and add to project. And then, usually we're mostly interested in writing a program. So I'm going to right click, add, new ladder diagram. And usually we will be off to the races now writing our program. But it by default, a Micro 820 Ethernet configuration is going to be set to obtain IP address automatically. Now here's where it gets tricky with this is I'm going to go ahead and download this program just like it is because this is something that even now trips me up is I'm going to navigate to my PLC. I click the OK button. It's going to ask to download with project values. And this is the part that's going to trip you up is typically the next button is, do you want to put it in and run? So I've got my finger on the trigger ready to hit the yes button. But if we look at this, it actually says downloading current ethernet settings will result in disconnection from controller. Continue with downloading ethernet settings. But in my mind, I'm just like, yep, I need to hit the run button. So I click yes. And then all of a sudden I can't communicate with my PLC. It's going to say that download with project values is succeeded but we're not going to get that normal connected and or mainly our little run thing here is never going to indicate. And the problem is we have just set our PLC to DHCP. So now let's talk about the random IP address part. So we did just have this plugged in. We know that the IP address was 192.168.114. Now I'm going to unplug our PLC. Plug the SIM IPE directly into it, and I'm gonna read that IP address again. And this time, we're gonna get a number that does seem very random, 169, 254, 138, 168. Well, what happens is, when you enable DHCP, the Micro 820 is gonna go and listen or look for a DHCP server. And if it doesn't get a response, mainly an IP address assigned to it, it's going to sign its own. And mainly these first two octics, 169, 254, that signifies that this is a DHCP address. Now here's the tricky part that makes it really random and really confusing, is I'm going to unplug this 820. I'm going to plug it back in. And now after we wait a minute, we're going to go, well first let's make sure we remember, mainly these last two octets, it was 138, 168. I'm going to back out of here, and then I'm going to go read unknown again. And this time, it's 171.128, which is fairly random. But what's happened is it has no IP address assigned, so DHCP is never going to assign it one since we don't have a DHCP server connected to this network, and we're going to end up never being able to connect to our PLC. Now, we can fix this pretty easy. We're just going to go back out. We're going to go to prepare address and we're going to get our IP address list and we're going to select 192.168.114, which was what it originally was. And now I'm going to go to assign IP address. And this time, when the Micro 820 powers up, it's attempting. There you go. Now it has assigned an IP address, and at the bottom we see OK to set to static. So now we have a static IP address set. Now if you saw so, if you need to change it, you can also change it with this, and we have videos on that. But all right, let's plug back in now, just so we can see the difference here. 
is let's go, instead of downloading our program this time, right here in the middle, let's focus on this part right here where our problem was. Let's go to upload. And we'll upload with logical values and just pay attention. Right now it says obtain IP address automatically via DHCP. And there you go. Now it's configured for what we assigned with the SIM IPE and it is set to static. So Hank, I hope that helps you understand how you're ending up with these random IP addresses and mainly when you're creating a new program, how you can prevent that from happening. So I hope this video has been helpful. If it has, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Till next time. Hey, this is Tim. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Hey, thanks for finding our channel. Here's a playlist with some similar videos. And YouTube thinks you'll like this video. Please like our video and subscribe to our channel. And if our videos have helped you make some money and you're not using our products, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Till next time. See ya.